Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Wednesday. Starting off the vlog a little later this week just because it's been a slow week. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and it feels weird because every week so far in this year has been really busy, but it's also kind of nice because it gives you time for other things. It's seven o'clock, I'm headed to Gloveworks. I'm gonna start the day with a workout, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> Um, oh, we're gonna look super bright right now. It's like one of those mornings that it feels like spring. <laughs> you guys know how excited I get when it starts to get lighter out and it's a little warmer in the mornings and I can go for my walks. So yeah, I'm just feeling really good right now. So yeah, this is just gonna be a chill few days of my life. I'm working tomorrow, so I'll probably take you to work. And then I have some new morning habits that I want to share with you guys, which I showed you, sort of showed you this morning. Um, the last few weeks I've been reading for an hour every morning. It's the first thing that I do after my water and coffee. Um, but it's just been such a great way to start my day. I feel a lot more relaxed and calm. And overall productive too because I just I feel more challenged mentally I think rather than just going into the same pattern of like you know opening my computer and like going through emails or starting editing a vlog or something you know something mindless um, whereas when I start my day focused on something and intentional about something I just end up feeling a lot better so I know I mentioned in my last video that I really slacked on my reading last year because of my own book and that one of my the focus on this camera is just not great um, one of my intentions for the year is to really prioritize my reading and yeah it's been going really well so far so I will link the books that I've read so far the books that I'm reading right now and I'll also link my Goodreads I've used Goodreads so many times before but I never really created an account so I created an account. I also claim my own book, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, if you guys are on there, you should definitely follow me and then I'll, like we can be friends and we can share what we're reading. Um, just have like a little book community. I know that I'm late to the program, but better late than never. Anyway, I'm gonna get on the train now. I'm gonna head down to the gym. my workout and I had to pick up this package on my way home. <laughs> um, FedEx tried to drop it off the other day and I wasn't home so I had to go and pick it up. But Yellow Label sent me another sweat set. So I'm not gonna put this on right now because I actually have to run to a casting but I'm gonna show you guys the fit and the color a little later today.
I have not been the best vlogger today. <laughs> it's three o'clock. I went to a casting, which I told you guys about. And then I ended up going home and changing my shoes because I have a massive blister on my toe, which I'm sure you guys are very happy to hear about. <laughs> um, then I just met up with Maddie. We took some photos for Instagram. And now I'm gonna walk home. I'm gonna make some dinner. And I'm gonna chill because tomorrow I have to work. So that was my day today. I'm sorry I didn't take you guys along. Sometimes things just get away with me, honestly. And then I'm thinking about taking a photo and I'm thinking about, like I was thinking about the thumbnail and stuff. And then all of a sudden I forget what I'm actually supposed to be doing. But tomorrow's a new day. We'll try again. Good morning. It is Thursday. I just took a shower, but this is what my hair looks like when I don't, or sorry, when I sleep on it wet. I am quickly gonna make some breakfast before I go to work. I'm just gonna make some scrambled eggs because I'm not super hungry, but I know that if I don't eat breakfast, it's gonna hit me around 10 and I'm not gonna be able to work. So um, I'm gonna make a quick breakfast. And then we're going to go shoot. Very natural makeup. Hi. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging, I'm showing them my makeup. Prep it, so. Ooh. Got it? <laughs> Are you filming? <laughs> okay. Should I just like hold the camera while I'm shooting? Like, I can just do like both at the same time? You should get one of those things for your forehead and then you can oh, yeah. Like you can do this at the same time, be like, hey, and then like, I'm gonna like, be like out of sync completely. This elevator is literally taking me out to the street. Um, I just finished and it was so good. Everyone was so fun. Um, and it wasn't actually that hard of a day. We just had, um, my voice is cracked. <laughs> we just had a lot of things to shoot. So sometimes it took a little bit longer, but it's all good. We're done. It's such a nice night. Look at this weather. Oh my god. Um, I am gonna go and pick up. I think I'm gonna go to Joe and the Juice and get a little tuna sandwich. Or I might go to Chopped. I haven't decided. Although I, I had a salad for lunch, so I might just get a little tuna sandwich thing. Um, and then I'm gonna bring it home and I'm gonna shower and stuff because I'm meeting Mel and some of our other friends tonight we're going to a magic show so i have a fun night ahead i don't know if i'll be able to vlog there because i think it's like a comedy show where they take your phone and cameras and things um but i'll let you guys know about that and otherwise i will see you in the morning good morning i'm in the oculus about to do a workout i did not want to work out this morning and i honestly contemplated not going but we don't do that in this house. So, in this house, where am I? I'm in the Oculus. But yeah, I decided to go anyway because I'm gonna feel so much better when I finish the workout and I'll be really glad that I did it. So, let's do it. Okay, I'm back home after the workout. I'm so glad that I went. Anyway, I'm home. I took a shower. I'm wearing my new set, by the way. 
um, I ordered a bigger size because the last set that I got from them felt a little small. But I think they fixed their sizing because this set feels big on me. But it's still cute. I can still wear it. There's no problem. It's just feeling a little baggier. So I wanted to tell you guys about last night because we ended up going to this magic show that I was telling you about. And didn't end up filming. Um, they didn't take our phones, but they advised us to put our phones away. So I didn't film anything. But it was honestly one of the most fun experiences ever that I've done in the city. So I'm going to leave the info in the description box in case you guys want to check it out or you're coming into town and you want to do something other than, you know, going to your typical dinner, or going out. I think the bigger the group, the more fun it is. Like maybe not more than 12 people, but um, it's fun if you go with a group of friends or if you go with your family and you all experience it together. But um, the way that it works is you go into this room and there's a table set up for every party that has booked for that evening. So you all sit down at the table and a magician comes to sit with you at the table. And they stay there with you for 10 minutes, they do all their tricks, and then they swap. So you have about like five magicians throughout the whole night. And then there's breaks and there's little performances and stuff. I don't wanna give away the whole experience, but it's honestly so fun. And yeah, it was, it was just nice to do something other than the typical going out to dinner, going to the same place, going out because um, you end up kind of just like doing the same thing all the time but yeah definitely recommend if you live in New York or if you're coming here anyway today is kind of just a little errands day I have an event that I'm going to tonight which is a fashion week event um, I'm not really doing anything for fashion week this year or this season sorry um, but I'm going to this one event tonight which should be really fun so I'll start getting ready for that around 3 and then I also, I'm gonna go and get some food for Sunday. Sunday's the Super Bowl. I feel like the Super Bowl and Fashion Week are never on the same weekend, but for some reason this year it is. Um, but my friend is having a little Super Bowl slash Valentine's Day party, and we're all just gonna make a dish or just bring something. And I found this recipe on Instagram um, that I really want to recreate. So I'm gonna get the ingredients for that today. I'm kind of bummed because I wanted to film the recipe for this vlog, but this one has to go up on Sunday. So it's gonna have to be in the next vlog. But anyway, I am gonna head out for a little bit um, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, I finished all my errands. I went to Chopped for lunch. I just picked up like a pretty basic Greek salad. I haven't been to Chopped in so long. I used to go to Chopped all the time when I first moved to New York because if you had the Model Lounge discount card, this is like, this is crazy because none of this exists anymore. But if you had the Model Lounge discount card, you could get 50% off of Chopped. So the salad would have been like, now they're more expensive, but at the time, you could get a salad for like five bucks, six bucks. So me and my friends would go like every day or every other day for lunch. I don't know why I stopped going, honestly, because their salads are super good. They also have this white balsamic dressing that I really like. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this now. I'm gonna just hang out for a little bit and then we're slowly gonna start getting ready. I just woke up from a nap which was honestly much needed. I didn't think that I was gonna take a nap, but I felt myself getting tired and I laid down and I was out for an hour and a half. So I just made a coffee. I'm gonna start getting ready for the event. Um, I wasn't sure what I was gonna wear, but I think I'm gonna go with a pantsuit and like a little lace bra and heels. I think that'll be really cool and classy and sexy also. Um, and then for the makeup, I'm gonna try and do like a smoky eye. I'm definitely not a makeup pro and I'm a little nervous because usually when I do my makeup really well, it's like a one-time thing. I can't recreate it, but um, we're just gonna see how it goes and have fun with it. I'm gonna link all the products that I use in the description box um, so that if you guys are interested, they'll be linked down there. You can check it out, but I'm not gonna talk about everything while I'm doing it because I just wanna enjoy, I wanna listen to music. Um, 
and I just want to have a good time getting ready. Okay, I just put my moisturizer. Everything that I'm going to use today, I've definitely used before, so um, a lot of this stuff will be familiar. The only new thing that I'm going to try out is this primer from Too Faced. I've heard so many good things about this, and I don't know. I don't really use primer unless I know it's going to be like an event and I want to do good foundation or something like that, so... I'm gonna try it out and I'll let you guys know what I think. Also, one more thing, I am gonna start with my eyes first. So it's gonna look a little weird for the first few minutes. <laughs> um, I always do this when I'm doing eye makeup. I only do my eye first so that if there's any mistakes or I need to clean anything up, then I don't have to redo my foundation. So I'm gonna do my eyes first and then I'm gonna do my base at the end. than it did before um only thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna smudge out the bottom just a little bit so it's not as clean now that i have the foundation on yeah that looks better almost forgot about the powder all together this Maybelline powder this fit me matte and poreless is honestly so good and it's only 10 bucks and I'm never going back to anything else <laughs> okay this is the finished makeup look I'm really happy with how it turned out um, I'm actually gonna wear my hair straight I'm just gonna fix the front um, and I'm gonna add in some products I'm gonna use a texture spray and a little bit of dry shampoo just so it looks a little more fresh. Um, and then I'm gonna get dressed and we're gonna go. So I will show you guys the full look when I have my outfit on and when I have my hair done. I just got dressed. I'm wearing all House of CB minus the bra, which is an old H&M bra. Um, the suit is also old, so I won't be able to link it, but I will be able to link the bag, which I just got not that long ago. Um, and it's such a cute going out bag. It's honestly the perfect size and it has the double hardware, which just makes it super easy to wear. Okay guys, I'm closing out the vlog right here because I'm gonna start a new one on Sunday. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, very important. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.